come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river. I'm nervous. Get down on your knees. Come to the mountain. Hi, friends. Welcome back to another day. It is July 26. It's actually my birthday. Um, I'm turning 23 today, so it's kind of a fun little day, but I had a couple things that I wanted to update you guys on. So I am in my two week wait window. I am nine days past Ovidrel shot, seven or eight ish GPO, depending on when I ovulated. My pregnancy blood test is seven days from now. It's next Friday, which I am literally so nervous about it. I'm ugh. I'm so nervous. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my two week wait so far because it's, I haven't been in it that long, but I'm about halfway through. So I'm definitely not symptom spotting because I don't really want to be too in my head about it. I already have a lot of nerves for next Friday. And so I'm just telling you the symptoms that I have been experiencing whether they're from the Ovidrel shot or they're from the progesterone or they're from the estrogen beats me or I could be pregnant. So I don't actually know and I'm not taking any guesses. I don't really care to do all of that because I feel like it's just really stressful. This is my sixth day on the progesterone and estrogen. So let me talk about that. My progesterone and estrogen was not ready when I went to go pick it up and it was super stressful and it made me so grumpy and I remember we had just gotten out of church and part of it was just talking about like God's will and then immediately we go to the pharmacy and it's not ready and I'm like yeah, I'm so annoyed. I'm like, I even told Aaron, like, please give me a second because I'm frustrated and I just don't really want to talk right now. Um, I know that I shouldn't be frustrated, but I am because it's like... I had this gut feeling that it wasn't gonna be ready and I just told myself like stop being like pessimistic and it wasn't ready. So I called my doctor, I messaged them and she ended up calling me back straight away, getting it squared. We got it that night and we started it. So the first thing that I noticed was kind of nausea and dizziness in the evenings. I feel like I felt this like a day or two after I started the progesterone and estrogen. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's just a symptom of that because it happened like right after I started taking that. It was just kind of around five, six, p.m. I would feel kind of dizzy, kind of nauseous. There was one day that I was like so fatigued and dizzy and nauseous. And then once I kind of like ate dinner, I felt fine. So who knows if that was Ovidrol, progesterone, estrogen, kind of all those things. And then for a couple days, I was having some low back pain and some cramping, like just general cramping kind of going around. My back started hurting probably on Wednesday of this week and it still hurts to this day on Friday. It's just very sore like even to the touch it hurts. Oh yeah I've also had acne pop up. I don't know if you can see it from here because I put a little makeup on but every time I do the Ovidrol shot I immediately get acne but it's been kind of carrying throughout this whole two week wait like ever since I did the Ovidrol shot. The last thing I would say is today I have been extremely cramping. Like it is very, very obvious. I've been very nauseous. Like at lunch, I was super nauseous and I thought that if I ate, I'd feel better. And I remember like I didn't. And then the cramping has just been solid. It's not in one particular place. It's not super strong. It's just very light. Like I can feel my abdomen area um, the whole day. So I know that was literally all over the place. I don't even know if I'll put this in there. I had no plan when I came in here to talk, but I just kind of wanted to share some of the two week wait symptoms that I've kind of been having. There's so many things when you're doing medicated cycles that could make you feel like, oh my gosh, I know that I'm pregnant. Like it's very interesting to have a sudden pain and then two days later be cramping all over. But I really, really, really am like staying true to the fact that like I'm on a lot of different medication. There's a lot going on. I've never been on this medication. So I am not gonna sit here and like pretend that I know that I'm pregnant or something. I still feel like a big part of me is like, no, I'm not. And I think it's just like a defense mechanism. I just kind of continue to tell myself like, no, it probably isn't gonna happen. It probably isn't gonna happen. Just like as a defense mechanism because I'm actually really, really nervous for next Friday. The take, I've been taking pregnancy tests this whole time with the Ovidrel and it was very, 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 very faint yesterday. Like you could barely see it. So I think that I've kind of tested out of the Ovidrel, hopefully. Yeah, that's kind of everything. I really feel tired of doing the fertility thing. I don't wanna do it again. 
I don't know where I would continue to go. I think I would have to go to other plans and other things if this continues to not work and other tests. And I mean, obviously I'll do it in a heartbeat, but I don't want to. And so I think it's just like this one feels very high stakes. It feels like if everything is perfect and I can't get pregnant, then what's going on when I know in my brain and in my heart that that's not all it takes to get pregnant. And I keep reminding myself, I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times, God's the author of life and he will decide when I get that blessing. And it could, I could have perfect health or terrible health and he can make that happen whenever he wants and so it's not i'm trying not to fixate on that portion of it i don't know i'm rambling out because i'm nervous i'll see you guys later and yeah hopefully i have some good news next time i talk to you good morning guys it is now august 1st it is cycle day 30 15 days post trigger which would be around 13 dpo i took one of the wandfo tests this morning and i'm pretty sure it was negative but it is now lunch and we are going to take a first response test because honestly why not i'm kind of just having fun with it i don't think that i'm pregnant this cycle i feel like something would have popped up already so i'm kind of just testing the test i'm going to take one of these today and one tomorrow morning and then from there we're gonna get my blood results so i really have made peace with the fact that i don't think that i'm pregnant i still could be there's still hope but we're gonna do a first response i typically don't like these because i feel like they give really bad indents but whatever we're gonna go for it come to the mountain while taking in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in here. It's loading and we are going to wait three minutes it says. I kind of wanted to just chat. The last few days have not been great days for me. Um, I don't know if it's, well, I do know. It's definitely my health. Like I had a little health flare up, a dysautonomia flare up. I kind of started stressing on Monday about my pregnancy test also. So I think that the mixture of everything just caused a flare up and I did not feel well at all. I had a major, major, major cervical headache and a cervical headache just comes from basically your neck. Um, it's not like a migraine. So I was taking migraine medication, Tylenol, Advil, my relief drops. I was taking everything and nothing was working so it hit like monday night i didn't feel well and then tuesday the headache came on today is now thursday and i am feeling better i still feel like kind of tired a little bit weak and the headache is on and off there it feels a lot better right now than it even did this morning so i think that i'm on the declining side of things which is good but i also just wonder how much these hormones are affecting my health just being on it i feel agitated i feel like my body just feels a little bit agitated i feel like i didn't do like anything other than all those doctor's appointments i haven't done anything that warranted that reaction from my body or that flare-up which sometimes you don't do anything and you still get the flare-up but it's just been an interesting couple days and it has not been fun but i am on the up and up so i'm gonna go grab the pregnancy test because i'm gonna look at it over here just because i don't want to move the camera okay so we have the test right here we're gonna look it's kind of dark in here but whatever oh yeah there's nothing that's so negative i don't know if i can get it to focus but it is very negative this is just yet again another indication that it's not the month for me i really think my blood test is tomorrow so i really think that this would pick it up a positive by now if i was pregnant um i just felt like the whole time that it wasn't gonna work and i wasn't gonna be pregnant you can have all this great stuff happen and it still usually doesn't work and so i think that i just kind of had that in my head and i don't know if that was like a negative outlook or if that was just because i kind of knew i'm on month four with the the fertility clinic going on month five so it was four months july 22nd and i'm not sure like what she's gonna suggest next. I really like my doctor, but if we have to continue to do other things, I don't know whether to take a break. I probably will wanna switch clinics because my fertility benefits will kick in at a different clinic. This one is not like an eligible place to do it at, um, probably because they're connected to a hospital. It's like a whole, it's just hard to know what to do. And I feel like with my relationship with God, I'm trying to just learn how to 
live my life in the present and not put so much emphasis on the plans that I have but when you're specifically trying to plan for a baby and you need help with it it kind of gets hard on what you're doing right and what you're trying to force and like just knowing the right next step and I'm thinking right now that I may want to try one more round everything like this round and then if it doesn't work I may take a little break I'll get my blood test tomorrow and that'll kind of give me the weekend to think about it and kind of hear what the doctors are saying and what they think now I can go into tomorrow's blood test kind of knowing what it's going to be like and I feel like that'll be less like negative news um, it is blood draw day for my hcg test um i'm actually not feeling like too nervous i kind of just want to like get it over with because i really 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 feel like it's going to be negative and i'm just ready to kind of get on with it get off these hormones and move on if that's the case of course i will be utterly shocked and happy if it is positive but I just took this first response test and I'm going to look at it and then this is my second morning urine because I woke up at like 5 to go pee and I was just not ready to like be taking a test and stuff. So let's look at this and then I'll kind of chat with you about today. And negative. Yeah. It's super negative. This is why I'm so sure. I feel like this would have popped up positive today if I had enough HCG to pop up on a blood test. I may be wrong and I may be overthinking it. I guess my blood test could just be super, like I could have implanted super late or something, but I really don't think that's the case. And I think that this is just negative. I'm feeling okay with that because I've been testing the last few days. So I kind of expected this. Next time I may not test all the way through because I don't know, that was a lot mentally. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my HCG test day. It is currently August 2nd and it is 14 DPO-ish. Um, it's 16 days past my trigger and I'm going in for my HCG blood draw. I took a pregnancy test this morning and it was negative. So I'm really going into this thinking that's going to be negative, which honestly for me is better than going into it with no idea and getting super like down and upset and stuff like that. But I just kind of want to get it done. It's eight in the morning and I just want to go and get it done and get my results and move on and get off this medicine and start over and just like all that kind of stuff i'm definitely just ready for that that's what i'm about to go do i will update you guys when i know something okay guys so i actually just got my test results it's 10 57 um i had to come home because i needed to get something to eat anyways so i'm gonna open my test results i'm a little nervous um I literally know that it's gonna say no. So I don't really know why I'm nervous. There's no way that it says yes. So I got progesterone and HCG done. So I'm gonna look at the progesterone first. It should be high because I'm on progesterone medication. Oh, it's not that high. It's 11, that's weird. Anyways, I don't know how it's supposed to be. I don't know what it's supposed to be like. It's 11 NG over ML. Now for my HCG, it is less than one. So not pregnant it would 100% show up on a pregnancy test by now. And even somebody was like, well, I didn't know that it could show that early. And I'm like, if it can show on a blood test, then it 100% could show. Honestly, I'm a little relieved because if it was positive, it would have been way less than what it should have been. The fact that it wasn't showing on a pregnancy test yet, even if it was like a positive blood test, it, it shouldn't be like that low by 14 dpo so it did not work i had a feeling when i started the cycle everyone was like so excited and i was really excited too but i kind of just like felt like it wasn't going to be the cycle i don't know if that makes sense or anything like that but i just kind of had this feeling like i feel like every time things align and it's perfect it doesn't really work that's okay um i am a little just like I'm so tired of doing all this stuff. That's more what it is than anything. I don't really know how I feel. I'm not like excited, but I'm not like super bummed either. I'm just kind of like, I'm used to it. And I was listening to Jonathan Ogden on the way home from getting my blood test and just like remembering and learning that all I need in life is God. Um, I feel like it can be confusing. This is what I get emotional about. I feel like it can be confusing trying to take things one day at a time and just wanting the Lord 
and just trusting his plan and also trying to do something that's requiring this much medical intervention and planning and like planning ahead I feel like it gets in the way of me just trying to live like in the moment one day at a time and that's what I get frustrated about because it's like do I just stop and let it happen as it's supposed to happen or do I need to continue for it to ever happen like which door is the one that the Lord wants me to walk through like at what point am I trying to force something that isn't supposed to happen right now I'm sure a lot of people feel that way that are going through this because it's like when is enough enough um the logical part of me is like that was one cycle that was only one cycle of this stuff being done while I had no cyst so it still is a positive I have no one else to talk about it with except God because nobody gets it but I guess all I can do is talk to Aaron about our next steps forward and just pray about it